This presentation is an overview of Kate Chopin's novel, The Awakening. After Kate Chopin's father died in a train accident when she was just five years old, she was raised in a home with her mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother, all of whom were widowed, and spent several years in a Catholic boarding school raised by nuns. Growing up surrounded by strong, intelligent, and independent women undoubtedly have had an influence on the themes in her writing of female freedom and sexual awareness. Additionally, she married a wealthy Creole plantation owner named Oscar Chopin, with whom she had six children. But unlike most women during the Victorian period, Chopin was allowed many unconventional freedoms by her husband, who admired her intelligence and independence. By allowing her to do such things as smoke, take solitary walks around New Orleans, and hold strong controversial positions on many issues. After her husband's death of swamp fever, Kate Chopin was the subject of much gossip when it was rumored that she had an affair with a married man. Chopin began writing fiction in 1889 to support her family after her husband's death. Her strong views of women, sex, and marriage, and the themes of love, female independence, passion, and freedom, and the local color portrayal of French Creoles and Cajuns made her an instant success. However, her second and final novel, The Awakening, was harshly criticized and censored because of its shockingly sympathetic view towards adultery and female sexual desire. Although the women's movement had already begun across most of America, in Louisiana, a woman was still considered the property of her husband. Chopin was surprised and deeply hurt by the negative reception of this novel, and she only wrote three more short stories before dying of a brain hemorrhage in 1904. Fifty years after her death, though, The Awakening was rediscovered, and today it is hailed as a feminist classic and is praised for its open exploration of the themes of patriarchy, marriage, motherhood, and female independence, desire, and sexuality. The novel is set on Grand Isle and the French Quarter of New Orleans in 1899. The novel's protagonist, Edna Pontellier, suffers an internal conflict as she awakens to her desire for independence and self-fulfillment. There is also an external conflict between Edna and her husband, Léonce Pontellier, and between Edna and the Victorian society in which she lives, which will not, not accept her rejection of her role as devoted wife and mother. Some of the themes or underlying messages about life in The Awakening are the awakening of repressed emotion and passion, desire for freedom and independence, the repression of Victorian merit, marriage on women, and solitude as the consequence of independence. The Awakening can be classified as a building's roman or novel of intellectual, spiritual, or moral evolution, or sometimes known as a coming-of-age novel. It is also an example of local color in its depiction of the setting, dialect, values, lifestyles, and beliefs of the French Creole people.